Children who survive brain cancer are getting an opportunity to hone their social skills thanks to a promising new therapy being tested at Alberta Children's Hospital. We're recruiting children to be part of an intervention group and, and that group is receiving um, a, a social skills intervention, an eight week long program. Um, we're comparing them to a control group who are also meeting uh, every week for eight weeks um, but not re receiving the social skills intervention. And ultimately at the end of this we hope to show that those in the intervention have improved social skills compared to those not in the intervention. Although more children than ever survive brain cancer, Impaired social skills can be one of the unfortunate side effects of treatment with chemotherapy and radiation. Some of these children have difficulties um, making friends, initiating conversation. Uh, they sometimes get teased and bullied. And so this program is really working to help to teach them some strategies, um, how, how to make friends, how to cooperate with others, how to manage teasing and bullying, um, how to assert themselves um, and, um, and resolve conflict. 12-year-old Danny Barnes was diagnosed with a brain tumor when he was seven years old. He underwent three surgeries, four cycles of chemotherapy, and 21 days of radiation. In the first week, we had kind of homework that we had to do. We had to go talk with somebody using the steps we learned, and I did that at school with a teacher. So I kind of took the lessons and took them to school with me. Over the eight-week program, every week is focused on a different skill, and then we engage the kids in games, activities, crafts, all that focus around uh, teaching them that skill. So for example, uh, we have a session initiating conversation, and we'll have the kids uh, interview one another so that they can learn the, the skills and how you start a conversation with a friend, how you um, play that back and forth conversation, answer questions, ask questions. Um, so it's all in games, and they're having fun, but teaching them the skills at the same time. Different sessions have taught them about empathy, bullying, you know, just reinforcing those uh, skills. Because sometimes they, kids his age forget he's doing great. He's doing great academically, got lots of friends at school. And I think he's really enjoyed meeting other kids that have gone through the same experiences that he himself went through. What I think I'm getting from this class is like, meeting pe new friends and that aren't my age and knowing what life's like for them. And I'm gonna take all of the lessons I learned through my whole life and I'll never forget them. Alberta Children's Hospital is one of only four sites in the country involved in the research project which is being led out of Toronto's Hospital for Sick Children. Well, we know that children who've received uh, cranial radiation therapy suffer declines in their, um, in their learning, and likely those same processes are, are having a role in their social skills. Um, there is really not a lot of literature at all that has, is working to address how to help resolve these problems. Some of this research started initially in Toronto when I was there, and this is the first multi-site study now. Uh, there's four centres across Canada participating in this work trying to implement this program and uh, see uh, whether there's benefits from it. So as, as far as we know, this is the first big study looking at actually helping these kids with their social skills.